Hi Leo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your love read for the second half of September. This is you and who, okay? Now that who could be friend, family member, a boyfriend, girlfriend, even a person of interest or one side of a situation or another, all right? We're gonna start with you, pull a few cards. If you're not interested in love and you're more interested in career, money, and finance, uh, you'll see that at the end of this video uh, as well, uh, including a general monthly read if you're interested in seeing what wants to come up with the universe wants you to know. You'll see that at the end of this video as well. All right. All right, guys, let's jump into this. Uh, I'm going to use my GPS cards. We're going to take a look and see what wants to come through for Leo the uh, second half of September. Uh, as it relates to love, what is important that wants to come out? What do we have here? Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. This is like maybe something is feeling like it's at a snail's pace, right? <laughs> it's like it does want you to take on that energy. It's a three Car, well, it's a 12 car reducing to a uh, three. And this talks about, um, you know, that, that, uh, uh, you know, that saying, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And this is what it's about. So in terms of your relationships or your situation that you're in, slow and steady wins the race. Now I know a lot of you might not want to hear it. We want it. We want it now, right? You know, person, place or thing, whatever it is. But this is what it's calling out to you here, that it's necessary uh, for you to go slow, all right? It's all about trusting life and, uh, and, and taking a more of a uh, slower, leisurely place than anything else right now. So um, yeah, and it could have to do with communication because it's a 12 card reducing to a three. And threes are all about you know forms of communication. So it's about slow in moving forward in terms of communication. So slowing down um, and being uh, you know more in contact with, with the uh, juicier elements of life, right? You to really savor every single moment that is happening here. Um, and that's what's calling. So don't try to push things forward impulsively. You know, it's because it's going to prevent a relationship or a success that would want to come your way. Uh, and that's what this cards talks about. Okay. Uh, so, uh, everything's going to ripen guys in its own sweet old time. All right. So, uh, that's going to be key. So this is what's coming up. Slow and steady is going to be key. What's going to help you within this. Okay. Some of you needed to hear this. Okay. Um, what do I want to pull? Let's pull a soul trees card. Let's take a look at, uh, what's going to help you within this process. What's going to help you with this, uh, Leo. Um, let's take a look. What do we have here? A new insight. Oh yeah. See, because when you go slower, you're able to kind of savor the situation, you know, whatever that is, even in life and love. And what this wants to let you do is going to let you to really, uh, you'd really feel uh, grounded in love, a lot more confident. So things can really bloom. Right. And it allows you to see clearly on what you want, what you don't want. And, and just again, to really, uh, you know, savor the opportunity, uh, you know, to really move forward. Okay. So yeah, that's what this is calling upon a real calm focus, you know, really breathing in the surroundings, uh, you know, uh, it's going to restore you and, uh, help you even better co-create with the universe. All right. So that's going to be key. So let's take a look at, uh, in love. What is it that you are, um, running away from or running to? So let's take a look at what this might be for you. All right. Uh, for some of you, and this could be in a relationship or a situation, a person of interest, um, that could be the case. So it looks like that you are running away from something that, that perhaps that there was too many expectations. Now this could be in a relationship or in love. Maybe there's too many expectations coming through you or this other person. It seems like, um, you're going to know if that resonates with you. Uh, anything else that wants to come up for Leo second, two weeks of, uh, September here, anything that wants to come out here, what do we get? I need to love myself first before I love anyone else. Some of you can really resonate with that, okay? So some of you might think be thinking of this, right? It's like right now there's too many expectations. I've really got to focus on loving me uh, right now um, and taking that on. Let's see how this relates to your read. So let's jump into your read right now, starting with you. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on with Leo, what wants to come out for Leo as it pertains to love, whether they're in a single, whether they're partnered, uh, what does Leo need to know most here? Okay, let's take a look. What does Leo need to know most? 
page of wands, okay? So the pages are all about some sort of message coming through here, okay? And this is about maybe you, it's a fire energy. You might have fire in your chart or you might be dealing with someone who's a fire sign. But what this talks about is this is all about, um, I don't want to say it's like very, very enthusiastic, uh, uh, like a discovery of something new of so, you know, there could be something of that. So there could be something new that's being discovered here. And it could be because you are savoring uh, the moment and going a little bit slower uh, and, and then gaining that new insight, right? And it could be that new insight is like, hey, hold on, let's put the brakes on here for a moment. I think I need to get clear on what I want and I need to focus on love for myself, okay? I need to focus on this first uh, uh, and uh, I think that's going to be key. Let's take a look. Anything else that wants to come through? Guys, note your comments below. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, and this is about being in gratitude and luxury. So this is about a message of excitement of being in gratitude and luxury, right? Nine of Pentacles, earth energy and fire energy coming through here, okay? This is just being abundant, like savoring the moment, like letting things come to you, right? And really focusing on love towards you, right? A lot of love towards you, I think, is really key right now. So you can feel so good and then you can vibrate high and then attract, uh, you know, a relationship that you might be interested in. And I don't know why that I feel, guys, but for some of you, there could be an ending. There could have been some sort of hold on a relationship right now, some sort of freeze. Um, and it could have brought a little bit of sadness, but that slowness in a relationship or situation has allowed you to identify what you need most, right? And only you can answer that. No tarot reader can answer this for you or no oracle reader. You only you, right? And uh, you never want to give up that control. So really focus and hone in on that because that's what's coming through here, okay? Uh, you know, so really your power is greater than anyone else's, all right? And I want you to remember that because sometimes you need reminders. I got to tell you, it's crazy. Um, yeah, anyway. I won't go there, but <laughs> all right. Um, and then I get the King of, Cup, of Cups. This is balancing out energies. Uh, this is being very calm, cool, and collective. Uh, this is really balancing one's emotions and 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 being uh, you know uh, of authority of one's emotions. And this could be you taking on this energy. You could be taking on the fact that you're balancing out your emotions right now, and uh, you know through a a uh, you know within a situation. Uh, let's pull a love oracle and let's take a look at anything else. Uh, that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Might be dealing with someone of that sign or have that in your chart. Uh, and uh, maybe what you're doing is uh, maybe you're hearing an energetic message from someone uh, that might be a water sign as it pertains to, uh, um, you know, e emotional, like a kind of luxury and gratitude. Um, let's take a look. What else? Commitment. Wow, this is about honor, honoring yourself, your values, and also loyalty, right? So it could be that you're really saying, hey, I want a, a relationship that is more solid or grounded. It might be a little bit more committed. That's what I'm looking for. And um, you're not looking for shaky foundations uh, in terms of relationships. Uh, it's coming to the, the point here. So this is kind of like you're honoring your values. So you're revisiting you know, during this slower time uh, to be able to uh, take a look at what it is that you truly want in your relationships. And some of you might say, hey, you know, I want more of a committed relationship, right? And because you know that you're a gem and you know that no one compares to you, okay? And, and, and it's key, you know you are that gem and you know that you're unique and deserving of this, right? So uh, this is about throwing that love onto you so you emanate high and can attract that person that's going to deliver that if that's what you're looking for. Some of you, that is really it, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I see here. Let's take a look at this other person, all right? Other person on the other side, let's take a look at this who and what they're doing. We get the lover's card, speaking of which I was going to say Gemini, right? After I saw this, I thought, oh, you could be doing the Gemini too. But uh, I think that it starts with you first, uh, knowing that you're unique and you, uh, no one compares. Uh, uh, and uh, that you might have someone around you that, you know, that you feel that is you have of interest, you have your eye on. Uh, it could be a magician. Yeah, I always feel this is a Gemini energy as well. Um, and it's someone that you've got a lot of love for. It's like this little hummingbird and you can kind of see in this lover's card, just flapping its wings really fast, right? Um, and you know, little messengers of God is what they are uh, in terms of the, the, the spiritual totem. And it's such a beautiful energy. 
And it's really talking about partnership. It's about connection. It is about, you know, an opportunity to uh, bring forth, a, you know, a balancing of two things, right? I don't know if you see these two little foxes there looking at the hummingbird up there and just in awe and wonder, right? And um, I feel that, that it's just, it's like magic. There is some sort of magic that is, seems to be, you know, vibrating, right? Vibrating. So this other person might ha have a lot of uh, love for you. This person might be, uh, you know, this person could be um, not sure if they, you know, they're, they're, they're summoning up all the resources necessary for them to move to that next step, whatever that is for them. It's saying that they've got all the resources necessary. It's a magician energy, okay? And so I like this. It's really talking about an opportunity to uh, move forward, uh, take action, knowing that they have everything at their disposal. Uh, it's calling upon their own power within, right? To take the action that's necessary to swoop on in and, uh, you know, and, and catch that flower, you know, that flower of choice, um, the love that they want, right? So I feel that um, for them on their side, it looks like that they are, uh, they've got a strong attraction for you, okay? It's kind of like a, a, a kindred spirit as well, I kind of want to say, because I'm getting that energy from this. There's some sort of kindred spirit together, like, you know, could be friends and all of a sudden something maybe turns and vibrates into love. There's this vibration um, of the heart that is coming through here. Anything else that wants to come through for this other person? Uh -huh. High Priestess. You know, you guys, I got to tell you, three major arcana for this other person. Huge shift that's going on this other side for this person. This is about them listening to their intuition, that of which is hidden, okay? So that could be is that they're listening their, to their intuition and knowing that they've got all the resources necessary to move forward in love. And they could be, uh, yeah, I kind of feel that they might be... Uh, um, getting ready to kind of find, to, to make moves and find out what it is that they're, they're getting clear on what they want and listening to their intuition, like making a choice or something. Let's take a look what is coming through here. They're, yeah, they're becoming empowered. Okay. Empowered as it pertains to the heart, being very solid in their stability and what is it they want so they can move forward in confidence. So they're trying to get grounded in their heart. Uh, that that uh, green is the uh, you know heart chakra and that yellow is the solar plexus chakra to become very grounded in the heart and then move forward in confidence so they know what they want so they're becoming empowered towards what it is that they want and they're going to take a new approach uh, within a relationship or situation and maybe that's something that uh, if you are interested in this person on this other side or another you know person they could be taking on a new approach and they're stopping for a moment to kind of uh, see what that is and to create that strategy and what that looks like what does the love oracle say about this other person let's take a look leo what is this rainy days yeah they've had some painful tears of sadness in the past pertaining to love and uh what else do we get here and they're focusing on self-love and taking care of themselves you're doing the same thing you're doing the same thing you know when i mentioned kindred spirit there could be something about it right and it could be that um you both are needing to focusing on self-love right now right um and this person knows that superficial expressions will not work with you right and i think it's because you've got that like honoring your values and what it is that you want like you want something a little bit more solid okay uh and that's what this is talking about. You don't want things to be sugar-coated, um, someone to say something and not follow up with action, right? You don't want someone that, uh, that, that shares superficial expressions that just tells you what you want to hear but doesn't back it up, right? With something solid, strong, and anything of the sort. And that is what I'm feeling here. So slow and steady in this situation, guys, is really going to win the race. And I think it was really good advice from the very beginning, okay? Because I think it's going to really, really help you uh, and give you that new insight uh, of what it is that you need, right? And then what's happening in the situation, okay? Whether you're coupled or you have an, an interest in someone, uh, what does uh, this person want most from you? What does this person want most from you, uh, Leo? What is that? What do they want? They want they want your shine. They want you around them. They want your shine and your energy and your 
uh, attraction and uh, just that energy that's around you and that spiritualness that's grounded in spirituality. Um, they really love it. This is the root chakra and the sacral chakra energy. I mean, do all emotions with the body. And it's kind of like they feel like they've been reborn when they're around you. Like that sun is vibrating and really brings in a major attraction. And there's also spirituality attracted to it. Uh, so they really love your shine, your glow, Leo. Okay, what else? Um, and what is what else do they want from you? They feel that um, they're very curious about you. They're very curious about you is what I get. The same card is they're very curious about you. Um, and I get overburden. So tell me a little bit more about this overburden. Um, what is this? I get overburden. What they want most from you. Five of Swords. Yeah, the overburden has been, there's been some obstacles within the situation. Maybe obstacles to get something off the ground. Uh, this could be someone that I feel that you're already acquainted with, that you already know. You may not have had a love relationship with them. You're definitely acquainted with them because there's been some sort of obstacles that have, have placed some sort of uh, a burden on the situation. And they want, it's kind of like, this is about obstacles, Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? Uh, anything more? Obstacles? Uh, seven of Wands. So the Sevens are all about, you know, having faith. And this is all about, uh, um, you know, persevering. Um, what they want most from you is to get rid of the obstacles that are holding the situation back and have faith in this relationship or situation or the opportunity for something to bloom. Okay. And that's what's coming through here. Okay. Uh, so they feel that you might have obstacles that might be standing in your way. Uh, and uh, that's what I see that's coming through. What does the love oracle have to say? Okay. What is that? Uh, let's take a look at what that is. What do we have? Yeah, they um, they feel that maybe it has to do with recognition, put pride aside of any sort is what's coming through. Maybe that you're in the spotlight. Um, maybe you're in the spotlight and getting lots of recognition. Um, and uh, they're putting forth uh, charming gestures. You could be getting a message from this person, okay? Um, so what they want most from you is a phone call, text. They want love from you. They want super sweet, you know, um, you know, communication that's coming from you, text messages, calls. Uh, they want that. They want to feel recognized in this relationship or situation is what's coming through here. Um, that's what they seem to want most. Um, what does the moon cards have to say? Let's take a look at what that is. Interesting, guys. Yeah. Um, you are good enough. All right. They want, what they want you to know is that you are good enough. Wow. Maybe they see something in you, the love in you. They see something. Maybe that you know, you're focused on loving you and they're telling you, you are good enough. Oh, you guys, that almost brings a tear. That's so beautiful. They want you to know that, okay? Let's take a look at what you want most from them. What is it that you want most from them, okay? What is that, Leo? What do you want most from this other person or this person on your mind or in the situation, what is that? It is retains to love. Five of Wands. So again, fives are about you know some sort of uh, a challenge, but this is about this is about what you want most. This is disagreement or strife. Let me um, clarify that. Eight of Swords. You want you want change in movement from disagreement and strife. That's what I see coming through here. We got the Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Fire and air coming through here. So they, they want travel. This is what you want most is travel change or some sort of movement within this relationship or situation is what's coming through here. Okay. Uh, and uh, anything from the soul trees that wants to come through here. What do we have? Emotional release. Yeah, you guys, I, I don't know if there's a conversation that something needs to be said. Um, but I think what you, it's about releasing the emotions uh, behind this. Okay. And um, yeah, I mean, it's like get emotional release. So it's about maybe communicating with each other uh, and having some some converse, conversation that where you can both speak a little bit on your emotions here. Okay. That's what you want most. You want this person to open up. That's what I'm getting, guys. Does that hold true to you? Because it kind of feels like I that uh, you've got a spiritual connection with this person, but there is the emotions that are being, um, you know, kind of buried, okay? And what you want to do is you want this person to open up. Uh, and anything else? Your commitment is being tested. So your commitment to this relationship or situation is being tested. Um, so um, what you want most from this person 
either your commitment or their commitment in, in this connection is being tested, okay? Because there is an emotional release, right? And this, it's kind of like if this person um, really wants this relationship, they're going to have to open up their, their they're going to have to um, open up in their emotions, okay? And that's what's going to happen. It's being tested by you, okay? So you want them to open up, okay? Uh, anything else from the love oracle that wants to come through? Let's take a look what that is. What do we get? Yeah, pa uh, love, passionate. You want them to... Uh, uh, share, hey, do you want me? Do you like me? Do you uh, want to date? You know, kind of what, what's happening here? What this connection here? Do we want to move forward or, 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 you know, what's happening here? Okay. So that's what I get here. I want to find out what is um, your best move forward at this point. What is your best move forward at this point, Leo? What is your best move forward? Two of Pentacles, being flexible about the situation. Okay. So this is all about, you know, balancing things out being adaptable to this unfamiliar energy uh that is happening this this energy that is going between you know perhaps you and this other person so that could very much well be the case uh it's also you know two choices kind of um maybe perhaps you're weighing in on options between two things uh you know or two people of the sort right so your best way forward is to adapt to the situation uh you know it's about like, you know, adapting and, and making some sort of choice. Anything else? Empress energy. Don't forget that you are, are, you've got this energy around you, this feminine energy that is really, really around you right now that you're taking on. It's beautiful. It's about creation. Uh, this is about birthing something new. So this is about, you know, creation and birthing what it is that you want as it pertains to your love life. So you've got a choice, um, you know, what it is, you know, uh, you know, you know, in terms of what, what it is and who you want in your life. And it's about making some sort of transition, moving back away from the old darkness into the new, right? Now, this doesn't have to just be a person. This could be a way of thinking of oneself, right? This is about believing you in your value, right? We talked about the beginning. What that focused in on is that you're focusing on self-love. She is the epitome of self-love. She is the, you know, above all the queens in the tarot deck. And she's really focusing on her beauty, her femininity, and her value. And this is transition into the old darkness into the new right into the golden new uh and this is that transition to past this is going through that process right now which is really beautiful okay what do the soul trees have to say on this one here let's take a look best way forward through this passage making progress planting new seeds and then letting them grow right so this is about thinking things differently and letting the that that the communication grow and that the sun shine on them Feed, feed yourself positive affirmations, a new way of thinking so that inside and inside you, uh, new seeds can be planted inside. It's going to show on the outside, right? And that growth and that beautiful opportunity. And this could be in terms of uh, things are making progress. If you want something to grow, you know, it's definitely focus on, on, on looking at things from a different perspective. Uh, anything else from the moon cards? Uh, it wants to let you know that you are safe in this process. You are safe in this process. Continue to make progress on this uh, in terms of your best way forward. You are safe. Uh, you're, you're growing. You're leveling up. You're expanding. Okay. You're expanding in love and what you want out of it. And you've got a new way that you want to be loved, right? And you have a new way about love, right? Uh, again, what's coming up? Slow progress. Slow. It's like slow progress. Reevaluate. Remember I told you that to take things slow, it wants you to go slow so you can reevaluate every single step along the way with you and this other person or within you internally, okay? Uh, you know what's best for you. The best way forward for this other person on this other side at this point, what does that look like? Um, unexpected gifts. Wow, you were an unexpected gift for them, I really feel, right? I, I kind of feel that that has been the case, that you've been, you're unexpected. And you brought them a lot of happiness in their life, and they're recognizing that, okay? But they're, they're moving forward in a lot more happiness, and, and that you were unexpected. And, and he will even willing, you know, this other person is willing to start it as a friendship, you know, even to start as friendship. Maybe you're friends right now, and maybe that's how you met. Maybe you currently are friends and have an interest in this person, okay? Uh, but their best way forward is to start out as friendship and then move slowly, it looks like, through here. 
um, is that's what it looks like, guys. Uh, let's take a look at anything else. Yeah, because, uh, you know, we, it's about being able to meet each other. Uh, this is about seeing things uh, on different, you know, not seeing eye to eye, maybe on different pages, and things have been such a battle. Uh, and uh, there's things that are still hidden on this person's side that I feel. Um, but this is time for them to st speak up and stand their ground on what it is that they want. So it's time for that. So very interesting, guys. We're going to take this into an extended because we're going to find out what this person wants to say. We'll find out what it is that they haven't told you. We'll also find out what you haven't told them, what they're most afraid of, and what you're most afraid of. Messages from both sides, uh, as well as a uh, um, what their next move will be. And then a potential outcome with Oracle advice. So if you're interested in taking that deep dive, uh, then guys, go ahead and check the link below on the extended. Uh, and if not, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. And thank you so much. Uh, uh, note your comments below. Definitely like and subscribe. I so appreciate it. it. Helps my channel tremendously. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Leo. Until then, namaste.